So you want to become a data analyst in 2025? Here's how I'd learn it from scratch. They say data is the world's new currency, like oil. And learning data analysis is one of the best things you can do. So if I had to go back and do it all over again, here's what I'd do. I'd split up the video into these sections, covering how to develop an analytical mindset, learning the fundamentals and where to find certifications and learning resources, and building a personal projects portfolio that stands out. Step number one developing an analytical mindset. Data analysis isn't just about numbers, it's about curiosity and problem solving. Data analysts are analytically minded by nature. For example, if you're good at maths, you likely already have a logical and analytical mindset, but that doesn't mean you need to be good at maths to be good at data analysis. To develop an analytical mindset, start by asking better questions. Look at any problem and think, what data would help explain this? What's the story that data could be hiding. Now being analytical doesn't just apply to data analysts. Any type of analyst needs to be analytical, it's literally in the name. The definition of an analytical mindset is the ability to approach problems and situations with logical reasoning and a systematic perspective. So when you're presented with a problem or a question, take a look at the data and ask, ask yourself, what's step number one? What's the first step I should take to tackle the problem? You can't start envisioning step seven straight off the straight off the get-go because often what step seven looks like depends on steps one through six take a problem each step at a time and work towards finding out the information you should ignore if a client wants me to find their best-selling product and they provide me with a spreadsheet containing customer data being analytical also means knowing which information to ignore grab a data set it could be about anything movies sports real estate and ask yourself what trends can I find here? What questions would I like to find out? What's step number one to analyzing this data set? What information is important and what information should I ignore? Step number two, learn the fundamentals. The fundamentals of business. The fundamentals of business. Mental is a part of the word. I have underlined it. Now being an analyst, any type of analyst, doesn't come without learning the fundamentals. It can feel very overwhelming at the beginning. SQL, Python, Excel, R, programming languages, statistics, Power BI, Tableau, which one? It can feel quite overwhelming, but breaking it down into smaller, more manageable chunks makes it all the more achievable. Think about the fundamentals as the pillars for being a data analyst. There are the technical pillars and the practical pillars. Practical pillars include things like statistics, statistical analysis, EDA, exploratory data analysis, data concepts, data interpretation and communication. The technical tools include all the tools and software and programs that data analysts might use, Excel, Power BI, Python, R, SQL, Tableau, Visual Studio Code, JavaScript, etc. Now there are so many different resources available online to learn the technical side of things. There are certifications by Google, Microsoft, there's boot camps and online courses. There are so many, it can, it can be difficult to know where to start. I'll drop a link to a Springboard data analysis boot camp down in the description below. If you use the code down in the description, you'll get a thousand dollars off. But edX has free online courses from leading universities like Harvard, MIT, LSE, and, and companies like IBM, Google, and they cover everything from beginner data analysis courses to much, much more niche and technical and difficult courses like data science for management or Python and data science for machine learning. And honestly, edX would be my first port of call if I was to go all the way back and had to learn it all over again. There's such a treasure trove of information on that website. For a small fee, you can officially get the certification, but they have so many free courses and certifications that cover so many different topics. And what I would do is use those free courses, use those free certifications to create and build my personal projects portfolio. For example, let's say you're taking the CS50 Introduction to Python Programming by Harvard you're taking that course. The lecturer is going to undoubtedly take you through practical exercises using Python to let's say you make a game. Let's say a true or false game. That's pretty that's pretty common uh, Python game you would make in tutorials. Now what you can do is take those practical exercises, amend them and combine them with other projects or other practical exercises you've learned and create them into a project 
for your project's portfolio. And these courses aren't just important for learning the technical side of things, but the practical as well. They'll give you a really good insight into what data analysts do on a day to day and really help you to develop and hone those transferable skills. Step number three, build a portfolio that stands out. Creating a personal project's portfolio is important to be able to demonstrate your practical and technical skills. There are practice data sets available online where you can apply your analytical skills and ask questions of the data. If you go into subreddits for data analysis, you'll see a lot of previous examples of projects that people have done. And you can use those data analyst projects to replicate or even amend them into your own project or inspire your own project. For any project you create, you want to start off by identifying a problem or a question you'd like to explore or solve. For example, you could analyze customer churn patterns in a retail data set, predict housing prices using historical data, or look for trends in social media engagement. Now, once you have your question, gather the relevant data from public sources like publicly available databases or government databases, export it, clean it, prepare it, and then apply appropriate analytical techniques to, to create meaningful insights. Pro tip, try and do this alongside an ETL learning module in one of the online courses. Try and, try and do that alongside, then document your process and your findings and transform your findings into visualizations in a clear, professional way that showcases both your technical skills and your business understanding. At each step of the project, write down the skills you used, write down the tools you used, and write down the techniques you used at each step. Now, as a generalization, your project's portfolio should either include one large data analysis project, which you're confident encompasses a multitude of data analysis skills, or it should include about three different projects that focus that each focus on two or three different specific data analysis skills. You should aim to include ETL, like web scraping, for example, extracting data from a website, using public company accounts or data sets. And if you want to take it a step further, learn how to learn how to modify and request data using an API for a publicly available data set. For example, Companies House, the agency which maintains the register for companies registered in the UK. They have an API that you can access via the API key. Interview prep. I've made an entire video on the four page plan that I use to prepare for any data analyst interviews. I'll link that up here somewhere and down in the description below. In that video, I talk about how I break down each page of my plan to prep for each different section of the interview from generic questions, from generic interview questions to company specific questions and commercial awareness and the technical questions regarding the tools, software and programs that any data analyst interviewer might ask me. Now, if you're watching this video, it's likely you want to become a data analyst or maybe you're already a data analyst who wants to further their career. It's important to note, in my experience at least, an analyst is a very particular type of person. The best ones are incredibly meticulous. They're able to find discrepancies in seas and seas of data and figure out why something doesn't look quite right. And even more importantly, they're able to explain the most technical and in intricate details to others in a in, in a simple and effective manner all that to say sometimes the work can be incredibly tough and difficult boring perhaps even at times you'll come across numerous issues there might be times when the data is just not working you've tried everything and something just doesn't click learning data analysis in 2025 is more than just skills where previously you could just get away with being an incredibly technical person it's more than that now it's about the mindset and taking action start small turn it into manageable chunks and stay consistent. And there you have it, how I'd learn data analysis in 2025 if I had to go back and do it all over again. If you want to know more about what a data analyst does on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll link some of my day in the life vlogs down in the description below. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful. If it was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.